Nestled in the southern part of Austria and around an hour's drive from the Slovian border, Graz is a beautiful city and the second largest behind Vienna. The city has a rich history and settlements have been present since the early ages. With the city center full of old architecture influenced by Renaissance art, Graz has a certain style and elegance that makes a perfect tourist location in Austria. Before we get into the top 10 things to do in Graz, we've included links in the description to various discount codes and links to resources of things to do, so make sure you check those out. At number 10 is the Schlossberg. The Schlossberg is a tree-clad hill and the site of a fortress in the center of the city of Graz. The history of the Schlossberg goes back to the 10th century and has been a main point of fortification and defense for the city. The Schlossberg has a beautiful park with an ornate set of stairs that crisscross up the side of the hill and is a perfect place to see views of the city. Number 9 is Schloss Eggenberg. The Eggenberg Palace is an architectural wonder at the edge of the city center. Standing as a symbol of the once mighty and influential region of Styria, the palace holds a major historical and cultural place in the city of Graz. The main palace was commissioned in 1625 by Prince Hans Ulrich von Eggenberg to embody the newly instated Gregorian calendar. This then joins with the medieval castle from the 13th century. Among things to see are the highly decorated state rooms with the fascinating planetary room full of frescoes, the planetary garden, and the pavilion. At number 8 is Here's Jesu Kirsch. This remarkable piece of neo-Gothic architecture is located to the east of Graz city center. Constructed in the 1800s, the beautiful exterior of the church is a throwback to Gothic designs from earlier centuries and has a contrasting orange and white color scheme. Inside this magnificent building, the interior is lavishly decorated and one of the most prominent features is a wonderful circular stained glass window that sits above the organ pipes and lets light fall through onto the congregation seats below. Number 7 is Landesugas, or in English, the Armory. Landesugas is one of the world's biggest historical armories. The armory's purpose was to have weapons ready to defend the province from invaders. Today it contains over 30,000 items of arms and armor and is full of racks of weaponry such as spears and pikes with shelves full of rifles and pistols. The historic armor and weapons here are well preserved and visitors can immerse themselves in the extraordinary atmosphere of the armory just as it was centuries ago. At number 6 is the Clock Tower. Standing on the fabled Schlossberg Hill and being easily visible from many places in Graz, the clock tower has stood here for hundreds of years and has become a symbol of Graz and its history. The tower has a striking design with its bright white walls, large overhanging wooden balcony section, and tilted pointed roof that dates back to the 15th century. Number 5 is the Kunsthaus Graz. The Kunsthaus Graz, or Graz Art Museum, was built as part of the European Capital of Culture celebrations in 2003 and has since become an architectural landmark in Graz. Its exhibition program specializes in contemporary art of the last four decades with a focus on freedom of artistic endeavors. From the outside, this weird-looking building with a bizarre blue shell-like roof canopy is at complete odds with the white walls and terracotta roofs all around it. However, not only does the Kunsthaus boast a wonderful design, its modern art collection is fantastic and features amazing displays. At number 4 is Murincell, Island in the Mur. Commissioned after Graz was voted European Capital of Culture in 2003, this impressive steel entity and artificial island was designed by American artist Vito Econzi. It's actually a ship anchored in the water and is connected to the city by footbridges on either side. This half-shell structure contains an amphitheater on the outside and a charming cafe inside, with an island adventure in between. The entire island gives off a beautiful blue glow at night. Number 3 is the Graz Botanical Gardens. The exotic architectural design of the greenhouses is a perfect reflection of the extraordinary wealth of plants to be found at the Graz Botanical Gardens, including three climate zones and a diversity of well-known and lesser-known specimens. Visitors can enjoy a lovely array of plants here, and as there is no entry fee, it makes an ideal attraction. At number 2 is Joan Uns Vertel. The Joan Uns Vertel houses the Neo Gallery Graz National History Museum and the Stiermarkische Landesbibliothek. Browse 65,000 contemporary art exhibits at the Neo Gallery Graz and explore the newly established Bruseum, featuring the works of the renowned Styrian artist Gunter Bruse. 
then journey into the world of nature and philanthropy at the National History Museum for a glimpse into history and Earth's natural wonders. Joanne Unsvertel is a must-see mix of art, history, and literature. And at number one is Adventure Park Graz. The Graz Adventure Park is situated on the outskirts of the city. The park is easy to reach and will provide the whole family with hours of fun. Some of the features include rope climbing, log sawing, rope bridges, walking trails, high ropes, and archery. So that sums up our top 10 things to do in Graz. We hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, and if you're new here, feel free to subscribe. Until next video, have a great day.